Here. Ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in Las Vegas, premier boxing champions, along with MB Promotions, Mayweather Promotions, and TGB Promotions, presents Welterweights in the Ring, brought to you by Innovate Motors and Twin Peaks, Eats, Drinks, Scenic Views. Judge it at ringside for this bout, we have Lisa Jumpa, Don Trella, and Glenn Trowbridge. All right, fans, here we go. 10 rounds of boxing in a welterweight special event. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue, red, and black trunks from Davao City in the Philippines. He weighed in at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds. His record stands at 18 wins, two losses, with 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the battle-ready Southpaw, introducing JR Hitman Insong. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner in this 10-round attraction, wearing white trunks with gold trim. He fights out of Woodland Hills, California, by way of Russia and Kazakhstan. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 147 pounds even. His record stands at 15 wins, one loss with 11 wins. Coming by way of knockout, please welcome the current world-ranked welterweight, the former super lightweight champion of the world, known as the Samurai, introducing Sergei Lipinets. A referee in charge now to give instructions, introducing Jay Nady. 10 rounds. Obey my commands, good luck, touch gloves. Let's go to work. Unified rules, no three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell. Only the referee can stop the fight. No decision if an accidental foul stops the fight before the completion of four rounds. The Southpaw, J.R. Insone, up until 36 hours ago, Sergei Lipinets was preparing the bell, start the fight. to face a right-hander. Right, and John work. Molina Jr. had to make the adjustment yesterday morning. Yeah, I would say that's the biggest telling story right now, is just the fact that he went from fighting an orthodox fighter to fighting a softball and also not knowing the softball at all. And that's difficult uh, just doing it the last minute because you you know you've been preparing for an orthodox boxer and then all of a sudden you got a guy is doing the opposite thing that you're going to be expecting in the ring. The whole camp you've been moving a certain way, <laughs> and now you're about to be moving. You have to move the opposite way. That's how that goes. Joe Goose and his team uh, quickly acquired some video of J.R. Inso. They got to work yesterday morning scouting the southpaw. From the Philippines. I've seen Sergey fight quite a few times, and it looks like right now they haven't changed anything at all. No, no worry about him being a southpaw, no worry about not seeing him fight at all. They're, they're going in with the same game plan to cut off the ring, to work the body, and work the head. It's gonna take him, him a it's gonna take him a couple rounds to kind of get warmed it. up to a southpaw. Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. You know, Sergey is a uh, He's a Russian fighter. They keep their hands up. They stay very, very solid in whatever they're told to do. And uh, so I, I have no no doubt that uh, Joe will figure Stop. it out. And he'll give it. He'll give the game plan to, to Sergey. No. And then he'll work the way through. Scheduled for 10 rounds in the welterweight division. John Molina Jr., the veteran, 36-year-old from California, pulling out yesterday morning, reportedly due to a back injury. Replaced by 28-year-old J.R. Insol. Now this guy, a lot like Payone, um, Insol is using the ring, stepping around, and you know Sergey is known for being a, a big, heavy puncher. He's not allowing himself to to be you know, put along the ropes or stay in one spot. You know, so I think he's doing the right things right now. You see on Insol shorts, Team Pacquiao, who's promoted by uh, Manny Pacquiao who we will see later in our main event on pay-per-view against Keith Thurman. Inson needs to keep that left there you hand go. up a bit That's higher. It. Stay with him. Stop! Break! 
box. You know, for me, I'm a, I'm a combination puncher, so I like to work from the outside as well as the inside. So when it comes to fighting a southpaw or even a, an orthodox fighter, if there's a quick change, that's my whole thing, is how am I going to get my punches off? How am I going to step? How am I going to move? And right now, the best part about it is Sergey does not have that concern. He's doing, he's doing lip nets right now. Keith Thurman and his wife, Priyana, attending her first fight. She's, wow. She's beautiful. She's a, she's a good woman. And I, I had a conversation with Keith, like, how's that going to feel? She, she's there. And he says that, you know, it won't be a problem for me, you know. So to see him, her in the back room right now, giving that last little bit of love, that's what we all need. They met in Tokyo. They were married in Nepal. She's never been to Vegas before this week either. Yeah, no, there's going to be a lot of firsts for the both of them for a long time. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now, when he holds on the inside, you've got to work your way out of it. You got to use, if he holds you, you got to use the other hand to keep punching, all right? Good. Keep tracking him down. Keep the pressure on him, all right? But smart pressure, smart. Let's go, Chad, let's go. Our colleague, Joe Goosen, who will rejoin us later tonight, training Sergey Lipinets. It's Sergey's second fight with Joe in his corner. Whoa. <laughs> How'd you see round one, Sean? Um, you know, both fighters did what they were supposed to do. Sergey's coming forward. He's uh, got, got his both hands up, and he's trying to uh, just, you know, land some punches. And then on the other hand, you have JR and Son using the entire ring, using his jab, and, and, and trying to keep uh, Sergey off of him. I think both guys did, did what they were supposed to do, but I gave the first round to Sergey Lipnitz. Lipinets at 15 and 1. His only loss came back in March of 2018. Oh! oh. Down goes Three, four, And it's funny, five, you, you could see it happening six, before your eyes seven. because he threw a couple left Eight. hooks and he was just short okay. of it. And that no. particular one was the one off. that went in. That will do it. Mm. Jay Nady asked, Insone, are you okay? He shook his head yes. And Jay Nady, the referee, did not agree. Wow. What a big left. What, what were you saying? <laughs> no, I was saying, I was saying he was moving. That's how you do it. He was showing that That's left hook. Well, okay. And then all of a sudden he moved into it. If I want to put his hand up, I'm going to come around the other side of the, of, of the fighter with the belt on. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Thanks, Doc. Thank you. Jay Natty not having it tonight. Listen. <laughs> oh. Let's go. Let's go. After, after the, hold, hold on, hold on. Let me just say something. Let me say something. After he raises his hand, Rich is going to come and put the belt on. So let him know that. Let him know that. Let, you know you got to let my, my boy stand there, though. You sound like my children. I don't have to. Dad, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to. That's exactly what sound like. And you know what? It makes for good theater. I know, I know. I know. I'm okay. I, I, I was laughing the whole time. You're funny, Jay. Get out the way. Big, big hook over his over his right hand. I think he was trying to throw a jab and some there. Right here, here we go. So okay. So Ensome threw the hook, but then he left his hand down. He didn't bring his hand back. The fundamentals Six, of boxing right there. Sergey did the right thing. He just threw another hook. Okay? He throws one hook and then he comes back with another. Perfect punch right there on the chin. Lipinets did the right thing. Ducked under that right hook, came over, bam. That's a textbook counter right there. Perfect. Textbook. And they they were actually practicing this in, in the changing room. Yeah. And I seen them on the pads doing it. Here's another look at it. Right on the chin, man. Right on the See, chin. See, anytime you get caught throwing a punch, it's always worse getting caught throwing a punch because the effects are bad. And, and you know we have that saying, don't hook with the hooker. Yeah. You missed the hook and got caught with the hook. The left hook by Sergey Lipinets, celebrating with our Joe Goose at all smiles. 
tell you what, Joe knows what he's doing. Yeah, I agree with that. Great trainer, knows what he's doing. He's got good insight, and he tells his boxers the right thing to do. I yeah. mean, you know, the advice in the corner, uh, the first couple rounds was the right right advice. And how about this? When, you, when there's a big, uh, there's a, a last-minute change like that, he stayed cool the whole way, and, yeah. and he fed that to his, his fighter. So Lipinets victorious to the ring we go, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 57 seconds in round number two. And a referee in charge, Jay Nady, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, the Samurai Sergei Lipinets. Yeah. Sure.